Hunter is out there with Rui Hachimura. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Hakez in at the small forward. You look at the Rockets. They're looking to build in what's been a great run for them so far. And it's not hard to see them doing that. There's a title in sight. And as tough a matchup as this is, this group is on a mission. Baylor with the steal. The pass to McGrady. Baseline jumper. Beasley with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Hawks passing it around. And it's Hunter with the jam. And the instincts there from Hachibora. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Beasley against Jordan. From down in the low post, it goes. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Not there. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Beasley. Buries it from three-point range. You know, with his ability to space the floor, Beasley adds a strong dimension to his team's offense. Chamberlain with a screen on Young. A shot by McGrady, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. For Houston, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. The shot is good by Baylor. And you know, that goes to his versatility. Baylor with a number of scoring moves in his toolkit. And Young kicks to Hachimura. Good on the triple. And they only want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here is McGrady. Chamberlain, the pass to Jordan. And it's blocked. And they'll get another chance. Lock at six. Back to Chamberlain. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. Now, here is Young. Baylor with the steal. For the finish. And the dunk by Jordan. That's amazing play down in the big boy area. Powering that thing down on a much taller defender. Passes it to Hunter. Shoots over Chamberlain. And Atlanta again with the bucket. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. A shot by McGrady. No good. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Hachimura kicks to Beasley. Another three for Atlanta. This is how confident Beasley is. What a quick trigger finger off the catch for that jump. For three. A shot by McGrady. No good. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Here's Beasley. Second chance shot. Rebounded by Wilt Chamberlain. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Houston making some changes. Johnson, he's checked in for Baylor. And it's Green and for Tracy McGrady. Rockets trail by three. Short. Another miss by Houston. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with him. Here's Hawkins. Drills it from outside. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Left to play here in the first. Johnson kicks to Jordan. And they get it. And it's blocked. Young against Green. Here's Hachimura. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Hachimura's got six points. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. 
That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Jordan with the bucket. So clever with the floater. Man, does Jordan know how to torture defenses. Young pass to Hunter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Will Chamberlain picks one up. The Hawks shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. He gets drilled by nine. Green in the post. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Didn't seem like the defense was ready for Green inside that time. He came at him with a lot of energy and was able to draw the foul. Both free throws good from Green. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Hachimura, the screen. And a deep three from Young. And that one's good. Hachimura. Oh, great ball movement there. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Took him no time at all on that one. He has five. Green stopping on a dime and putting up his shot. Boy, that was impressive how suddenly he did that. Hunter sets a screen for Young. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Green, no luck. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. A big-time effort for Malik Beasley, providing a lot of energy for the Atlanta Hawks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Atlanta. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. We've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball. Working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Black is out there with DeJounte Murray. Then it's Rui Hachimura. Then there's Hunter. And it's Hawkes in at the three, the small forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Here's McGrady. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Tracy McGrady. First free throw is good. Boy, McGrady, an elite talent. I mean, a remarkable athlete. Tremendous bounce and speed and strength. And he continues to get better. Black dishes to Hunter. Back to Black. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Shoots it. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. Hunter's got eight points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Hockey. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Hockey has got his second bucket. Boy, Murray's court vision, very sharp. And he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. Timeout called the Rockets. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. 
is, and every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Hunter, and it's Hunter with the jam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And, G.A., it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Here's McGrady. It's good. McGrady's got his third basket of the night. Like the size McGrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. Black kicks to Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Oh, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Cans it from downtown. Well, McGrady is just going off right now. He's enjoying himself and going after buckets with reckless abandon. Hits it from three-point range. The Rico come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to shift. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but uh, they're starting to look a little better now and regaining some ground. Coleman here now for an injury report. And now Hall of Famer David Aldridge has an update for us on DeJounte Murray. David, what's the news there? Well, guys, I was able to talk with that man, his head athletic trainer, about his status. Well, guys, it could have been much worse. It's a shoulder bruise, and it's aching a bit by the looks of things. To have an injury like this now in the NBA Finals, just flat out unlucky. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. And that one's good. Hachimura. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Timeout call for Rockets. Beasley's checked in for Hardaway. The Rockets also changing it up. Chamberlain's checked in for McGrady. And it's Jordan in for Green. Here's Baylor. High arcing shot. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. Jordan passes to Shengu, and it's blocked. They have been more dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this new team. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And yes, it's good. Jordan's got eight points. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Black dishes to Hunter. Another three for Atlanta. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Jordan, the pass to Chamberlain. Shoots over Hachimura. Chamberlain's shot is off. Beasley kicks to Hachimura. Pass to Hawkes over Baylor. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Jordan can't get it to go. The Hawks leading by 22. In the corner, it's Hunter. Over Shengu. It's rebounded by Houston. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Here's Hawkins. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Atlanta cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more in store for you right after this.
Thanks for joining us for postseason basketball. Clearly, guys, the second half going to be a tough task for the Houston Rockets. Their biggest problem is they got lit up from outside. You like to think they know their opponent's tendencies, but they sure didn't act on it. Obviously, the situation isn't going to change itself. Big adjustments need to be made for this to become a game again. Looking at the scenario for the Houston Rockets. They're right where they want to be in the series, but perhaps a bit of a letdown tonight in the first half, Jet. No maybes, Ernie. Definitely a letdown. They got a little too comfortable. And I'm curious to see how they respond in the second half. This is the finals. Can't give away games. We shall see. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. Ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. We're seeing a tremendous game from Tracy McGrady. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Starting the second half, here's Ime Udoka's five. Baylor is out there with Baker, then it's Jordan, then it's Tracy McGrady, and it's Chamberlain in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And running right out of the bat here to start the second half. That's exactly what they want. Get him into the offensive flow right away and then keep it going. And so Jordan will bring it up for Houston. There's a good screen. Here's Baker. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Baker's got his first two points. The defense that time totally outsmarted by Jordan with the pick and roll. Great way to create for another shooter. It's good. Nice touch there from Okongu. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Pass to Chamberlain. Over Hunter. Hunter with some nice defense. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Jordan with the ball. And Young picks him up defensively. And then slammed in by Jordan. Tell you what, Jordan is such a strong defender. Outstanding at reading the opposition and pouncing on those steals. Chamberlain brings the double team. The three. The shot by Okongwu. No good. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Here's McGrady. And another three for Houston. That's three of four here to start the half. The Hawks leading by 20. And here's Young from the arc. Hits the three-point five. Young's got six points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. That three off the mark. Houston's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Hard away against Jordan. Baker in the corner. Floats one, and it's good on the way up. Baker's got four this quarter. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, when one of his guys has a clean look, he gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Even against tight defense, he's so good from out there. Here's McGrady, and some very quick points for him on that possession. McGrady's got 22. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Just great anticipation by Young. He just sees the play developing, knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. And that one's good. McGrady. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Young looking it over. Hardaway passes to Hunter. But Trey, Hardaway, no good. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Here's Hardaway. 
The rebound by Wilt Chamberlain. Rockets trail by 19. Baylor with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Chamberlain down low. Okongwu on him. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And Hardaway gets it to go. Hardaway Jr. proving he can get it done even under pressure. Excellent confidence. Chamberlain with a screen on Young. And that one's good. Look, Brady. Great. And this Brady. is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Baker passes to McGrady. Here's the floater. Bucket is good. McGrady's got 13 points now in the quarter. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Here's the pass to Okongwu. Hardaway dishes to Okongwu. The Hawks working the ball around. Here's Hunter, and it's Hunter with the jam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a straight for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions along, doesn't he? And, you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Hardaway from outside. Here's Okongwu. And stolen by Chamberlain. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Baylor with the ball. Hardaway picks him up. Baylor, that's good. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Young's shot is good. McGrady outside. Here's Chamberlain. Good. And it's McGrady who picks up the assist. McGrady's got three assists tonight. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. And so it's Atlanta out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Dan, he's always been uh, the favorite to back this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. We've got Tim Hardaway Jr. Okongwu is out there with Thompson. Then there's Hunter, and it's Young in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Passes it to Okongwu. Off target from three-point range. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Jordan against Thompson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Shingun is a hard player to get a handle on. Pretty unpredictable, which makes him hard to guard without foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Hawks. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. Yeah, an explosive athlete, the precursor to the high flyers, prone to the spectacular Baylor with a strong move. He had a nice open look right there. And the Hawks lead by 17. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on deep. 
They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. The free throw drives for Hunter. So after making the first, he goes one for two. He gets trailed by 18. Johnson in the corner. Here's the lob to the hoop. Rebound, Atlanta. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And that one's good, Hunter. But, you know, guys, you know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Now a timeout called by Houston. Baker, he's checked in for Jalen Green. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone here. Young against Jordan. Over Young. Trey Young grabs the miss. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. They've played a great fourth quarter defensive, following only three points. I post shot. It's good. Yeah, that basket is now five for nine. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. And the turnover again by Atlanta. So for the Rockets, Chamberlain comes in for Shangu. And Tracy McGrady subbed in for Michael Jordan. Rockets trail by 18. Now McGrady. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Baylor with the ball. Guarded by Hunter. Just four to shoot. A shot by McGrady, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. From deep, Okongwu grabs the board. Okongwu's now got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Hunter against Baylor. That one goes in. And now, 24 points for Big Dog. Boy, excellent recognition from Hardaway Jr. to find his teammate there. This guy's an unselfish player. A shot by McGrady, no good. The Atlanta leading by 20. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And it's going to be on Tracy McGrady. That free throw good from Hardaway. You know, you look at Hardaway Jr. right now. I think efficiency is everything. Should be the priority for him. I think he has the talent, no doubt, but just needs to play to his strengths a little bit more. And the Rockets making a change here. Jordan's checked in. McGrady outside. Kicks it out to Jordan. And another shot. Jump shot is good that time. And of all the attributes, one thing that sometimes gets overlooked with Chamberlain is the court vision. Makes a great read there. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Hunter. That one a little long. How about that hard-nosed D in the paint right there? Nice job. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on that one. Hardaway. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Timeout called the Rockets. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Big Dog. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shots and was knocking them down. What a way to start the series. If this game is any indication, he's going to be an unstoppable force the next few games. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Johnson, wide open, he fires. Trains it from beyond the arc. Johnson's got his first three points of the game. Hunter finds Young. Hunter with the screen on top. Young from outside, connects from three-point range. And that's a double-double for him now. 12 points and 10 assists. Here's Johnson. And Thompson sends it back. In terms of off guards, Thompson is an all-defensive team-level player and can compete with the best of them. 
and he knocks down the first one. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. Hardaway hits them both. There's 117 left to play in the final quarter. And guys, you can go ahead and put game one in the record books. Exactly how they wanted to kick off this series against a tremendous opponent. Big win for the Hawks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Big Dog. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. Here's Hunter. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Hardaway with the steal. Kicks to Thompson. A three-pointer is right on target. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Pass to Baker. Al Chamberlain. No good. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. And you got to feel good about getting each and every game here in the postseason. You know, Kevin, each game is, is just so significant and, and magnified. This has got to feel really good. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. So how satisfying was this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against. And um, that, that's all I care about. Well, you all certainly did what you had to to get this win, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, DA, thanks again. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Big Dog.